Alrighty then. How's it going today, guys? So we've got a couple things to get done today. First off, we have a clay bowl here. And we need to get it cooked up. And... Look in the quest book here. Sure, wrong one. I do need to get my cookie here because we made the table. Forgot to do that. We still have our storage drawer here, and then our tin alloy, our red alloy, and our thermos thermometer. Other than that, we almost have the Stone Age complete. And for Steam Age, we got this fixed up. So now we have Baltic Mineral Sand is 7. And Iron Plate, since most of the things you're going to do is Iron Plates. And then you got the Granitic and the Magnetite. So whichever of them you get... It will show up there and we completed that so we'll come on that one and that leads us to all the rest of these which we are going to work on today and I'll hold on a second because I think I forgot to update the book let me do that and I'll be right back all right so that should be done now so for anybody that doesn't know how to do this, I'll show you now. You need to turn it on to a land world if you don't have cheats already enabled. And you need to enable them because you have to do an admin command. Which is bq underscore admin space. And then over to default space load and that'll reload your quest and now if we go back in here there is a new quest for the mortar and this is what we're going to be working on and it does tell you that you need one iron sapphire diamond or amethyst mortar to do so so they are all listed in there um, they do not change the mortar. The mortar always works exactly the same. And it's simply a gem or an iron ingot. And it has to be one of those gems I just listed. And that will give you your mortar. Give me my cookie. Now, the great thing about this mortar is, one, unlike the ones we had back in GT5, it never breaks. It also has an NEI button, so you can check the recipes if you'd like. But what we are going to be using them for is like our purified lignite coal here. We want to get this down to dust form. So we will click it on there, and that will give us five small piles of lignite coal, because one of these is 1.25, so that is 0.25, and that is one. So this will break it down to small piles for us. It does take hunger. You'll see my hunger's going down. That's the fuel for this. And then we can put them all back into this. Now for lignite coal, not quite so useful. But what we're going to be using it for mainly is for coal, our copper, redstone, stuff like that. Because today we are going to hook up a drain out here so we can move our cauldron in here and wash our ores and we're going to hook it up to that drain 
That way we don't have to sit and do everything by hand anymore. So we're going to take this wrench, put it in the middle. That will give us our ring. And if we check in here again, we do have, oh, it wants us to do the pipes before the thing. Okay. Well, we're not doing the small bronze fluid pipes right now because we don't need them. Not quite sure why they're in here for that. Um, what we are going to do is the huge wooden pipes now huge wooden pipes are not really big enough as you'll see here in a second when i can remember there we go so the bandwidth is 600 and when we wash an ore it takes like 250 liters per 333 i don't know it's it's somewhere in there because isn't there like three uses in a three bottles worth in a bottles 250 I think it's somewhere around there so this is only going to use move 600 liters a tick so you're going to be able to wash faster than what that water is going to be able to get into it but for in the beginning, this is big enough. Now note, there are bucket slots in here, but the container next to the table has to be a bandwidth of a thousand, a full bucket. That's not big enough. So we need to do something better than that. And we're going to do that in just a second. This is another good use for this. You can break down all of your splinters to get... I know they're in here, I just can't see them. Uh, where did they go? There they are. So you can turn your splinters into tiny dust. And then you can turn those into your regular dust. And this can be used to make paper in your bathing pot. Which we can also hook up to this pipe eventually. You can also use that for fuel as well. But I usually use it mainly for paper. The nice thing about it is we have all of these flint pebbles that we've been storing up that are taking up but tons of room. We can break all of them down and turn them all into tinies. And that'll save so much room in there because then they'll be able to stack to 64 plus again. We can do that and turn them into full of dust so I will do that later when y'all are not bored watching me do so now I need to make a another hammer head here I just broke the one I the hammer I had so let me get this out here if I remember correctly I need wait a minute this is a newer recipe and I keep forgetting it. Oh, uh, we need a wood one. Jungle wood, that'll work. It's a drill. Oh, it's an axe. Not a knife. Well, we can do that. And I don't really need the hand drill on me, so we're just going to store it up there. All right, so let me get this done. I need to make a butt ton of these. Not quite sure why that, there we go. All right, so that should be enough 
keep us busy for a little while. But we also want to, I made a couple long rods here. And we're going to make a barrel. Now, this wooden barrel can be used for lots of things. One, it can be used to ferment things. If you have, say, apple juice that you've made on your juicer over there, you can bucket it into here. Um, to do so, you will need a funnel. We can go ahead and make here real quick just to show you how it works. Because it's not what I'm going to be using it for, but... I will need one and these funnels come in various different materials depending on what you're needing them for we just need a basic one right now so that is the recipe we need and the table does not remember it or know that it works I guess so we need that and there is a funnel and we'll cook it up and then basically if we come out here and we get rid of this guy or he makes a mess of the place and I guess while we're out here we might as well start running our pipes so we have to be in a river biome if you look over there under the map it says plains if you hit f3 it says plains if i come all the way out to here it finally says river so we're gonna go it looks like here is about the closest so we're gonna go to Right here, that says planes. Stand on top of this one, that says planes. If we stand on this one, though, it says river right here. So that is our river bio. So don't think you can just put it on the edge, you have to check and make sure that it is in a river biome. And then you can just take this, clip it on there, and now we will have water in this pipe. Now, I'm quite sure you guys don't want to see me dig up my front yard, so I'm going to run this pipe into the factory here. Hopefully I have enough to connect and do this. This first one's going to be a pain. Make sure you connect them. You can tell they're connected with a wrench. But if you place it against the other pipe, it will automatically connect. You can tell that by the X. If I was to just place this one right there, you'll see it is not connected. And now you can see by the X that they are both connected. So I'm gonna run this. Uh, let me show you guys the funnel real quick. And then we will, I will run those pipes. So put the funnel on here, get my magnifying glass, you'll see it says nothing. We click it on the funnel. And we have it in there. Now you cannot get it back out like that. You will need to make a tap. Which you can also make ceramic. Let me grab three leaves. And it's good to keep one of each of these around because you will use them a lot. The nice thing about the tap is it doesn't have to be a bucket. 
You can also use um, like these barrels and later on when we get to them, the metal drums. And you can pull stuff out, including machines, will interact with these things. So now if I just click that, that'll give me my water back. And I can drop it over there. And we're going to take this, and what we're going to use it for is connecting as a buffer for our cable. And I'll show you that in a bit. Let me get these pipes ran, and I'll be right back with you. All right, I didn't have quite enough. I had to come back in and make seven more, so it's now nighttime. And I also had to go right across my mining hole here. There we go. We now have it connected. And I can cover this back up now. And if we come inside, drop off this dirt, and use our magnifying glass on my pipe right here, you'll see it has water. It is filling up the network. So let's grab our cauldron here. And Greg did some hackiness to the cauldron. It is not normal that you can do this. So don't try to do this with any other mod. It ain't going to work. But luckily, it works in GT6. So we can just take this, put it right there, and voila, we have water in our cauldron. Now, I'm probably going to move my chest area over there so I can... Put my bathing pot and my mixing bowl right here. That way they can be connected as well. And I guess I never did finish talking about how you can ferment in here. Uh, but basically you would put your apples in here, get some apple juice, transfer it in here, and then use a soft hammer on it and right click and that will seal it now it's not going to seal now because well there's nothing in there to do it um but that would seal it so it'll start fermenting and crazy a while back did a video to explain that and if i can find it which i'm quite sure i can I will link that up in the cards uh, and you guys can go and check it out. If you are interested, we will do it eventually here, but right now, not something we're worried about. All right, so now if we check that, it's got water in it it's completely full and we can put the floor back take our bucket put it up here and it refills the bucket if i'm remembering this correctly i don't use this except for just doing my uh coke oven but if I remember correctly, and you can't get water out of the cauldron, I hate that. I really wish we could. But I do believe if we put this in here and use it, it'll automatically fill it. I might be doing something wrong. We'll figure that out when we do the coke oven. But that should see the tank as a adjacent tank to that crafting table because it has water in it but what we're worried about today is the cauldron and the mortar so with this i can now take my crushed coal and you can drop the whole stack and it will just wash 
So now I got five tiny piles of lignite, nine sulfur, and my 18 purified. And before, we would have to use the hammer on here to break it down. But now that we have the mortar, we can just do that. And that will give us our coal dust that we need for making iron in a nice and exact recipe. And basically the cauldron works off of the sluice recipes. So if we look at coal again here, and we go to sluice, you'll see that it's got coal. Well, we'll go to the big one here. A full coal every time, guaranteed. And then a 3% chance at 9 lignite, sulfur, and then coal itself again. Everything has a different byproduct list. This is the byproducts for coal. And you will get less return from the cauldron than you will from a sluice. So you want to upgrade to a sluice as soon as possible. But... This will help us get to that point. So all of the ores that I will be washing or I will be cooking and all of the fuel that I will be using in there, I will now break down or wash in there and then break down. That way I've got exact amounts. I don't have to worry about purifying it anymore by throwing it in there, pulling the stone dust out. That is all gone now. We can just easily turn it into a dust and then throw it in and be done with it. And the nice thing is we can do redstone, which if we didn't have that way of doing the club to get our cinnabar this is another way of getting it it does take a whole lot more cinnabar as you see i did 12 and got three tiny piles and you need nine tiny piles for a full one so it would take a pretty good load of redstone to do that but we can also break this down like that and get ourselves our regular redstone dust that we will need for other things including our red alloy plate that we will be doing soon so we can make an actual uh, thermometer so we don't have to use that hand one so let's go back to our quest book here we have this done, except for our bronze fluid pipes. Again, I don't need them right now. I'm not worried about them. Uh, we'll be doing them. We'll be needing them when we get into actual uh, boilers and machines. But we don't need them for setting up water. We finally have this because we had the iron done. And because we didn't have this... We don't have the barrel one done, which is down here. But we are going to work on our manual shifter, sifter, and our grindstone next time. And then we're going to get into making our coke oven. And the coke oven is what we need the water in the table for because we need to make fire brick which is clay powder and bricks with a water bucket and this is the annoying recipe to do if you don't have something filling your water bucket for you automatically so we will figure out exactly what i was doing wrong there why it wasn't looking like it was filling because i'm thinking it was supposed to or it's supposed to refill it. Again, I don't remember. It's been a while. It's been almost two years. So, have a good one. And I will see you guys next time.
If you have any questions, let me know. And again, I'll link that up in the cards up in the corner. A crazy's video for the uh, fermenting. And I'll probably put one up there for the water that I did in take two. Just in case you guys want to see it ahead of time the way it's supposed to work. Have a good one.